Welcome to the game theory. Today we are gonna solve yet another interesting game theory problem using the minimax maximum principle. We are gonna solve a two person zero sum game. Now, when a game has only two players and the gain of one player is equal to the loss of another, then it is called a two-person zero-sum game. Here we have a 4 by 5 payoff matrix of player A and B. First, we have to find the row minimum. So, it is 7. 20 minus 8 and minus 2. Next, let's find the column maximum. And that is 25, 35, 20, 28, and 30. Now, let's get back to the row minimum and ask the proverbial question. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Which is the greatest number of them all? And the answer is the mighty 20. So let's coronate the mighty 20 and call it the maximum. Maximum. Now, the idea is to maximize the minimal profit of player A. Now, let's go back to the column maximum and ask mirror, mirror on the wall, which is the least number of them all? And the oracle says, it is the mighty 20. So let's coronate the mighty 20 and call it the mini max. Mini max. Remember the idea is to minimize the maximum loss of player B. Okay, now let's write the value of the maximum that is 20 and the value of minimax which also is 20. Here's a perfect match. Maximum is equal to minimax and that is 20. So the game is over. Hold your horses, the game's not yet over. Remember, when maximum equals to minimax, the game has a saddle point or an equilibrium point. Hence, it is a game of pure strategy. Now, a pure strategy simply means that it is a strategy that provides the best outcome to each of the players. So, what is the best strategy for player A? It is the row corresponding to the saddle point, which is 2. And what is the best strategy for player B? It is the column corresponding to the saddle point, and that is three. Now, the final step is to find the value of the game. And the value of the game is the amount of payoff at the saddle point, which is the mighty 20. So, let's write 20 here. Since the value of the game is positive, the game is favorable to player A. 
So we have solved a two-person zero-sum game using the minimax maximum principle. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you and happy learning.